What do you do when things aren't working? You tear it all down and you rebuild. Phil Murphy here, and if you're SK Telecom, the three-time League of Legends world champion that didn't make Worlds last year, you build around the phenom that is Faker. Emily Rand tags in to keep it real from the West Coast to walk us through the new SKT and if they'll find success with this new lineup. Emily, let's start with the obvious. SKT kept Faker. We're going to try to throw you a curveball here. Would you have dropped all your starters and built around Faker? Uh, yeah. I mean, I think the only starter I might have kept, and he's actually still on the team, but he's in the secondary bot lane, is Effort, because I thought Effort also uh, played pretty well, especially towards the end of summer. I thought he was looking a lot better and more comfortable in his role once he started uh, you know, playing a lot more instead of Wolf. But yeah, I know, I mean, a lot of people are upset because Bang and Wolf have been together for so long and they've been on the team for so long and they've been part of so many, you know, championship winning lineups. But it was definitely time to shake up this entire team. And yes, the only starter I would have kept uh, probably would have been Faker. All right, looking more closely at that shakeup, SKT added Khan and Crazy to the top lane, Clid and Haru to the jungle, Teddy to ADC. Which of those players to you is most exciting and why? Um, I think everyone's going to point out Mata just because of his history. You know, he's an incredible support. Um, he's an incredible in-game leader. But the player I'm most excited about is actually Teddy. This is a player who was kind of tra trapped on Jim Air a bit. He's just, he's such an efficient team fighter. And we're also really going to see how well he can do um, perhaps with a bit fewer resources or slightly less attention. Because I think with this team, you have a lot of people who demand time, who might demand resources, and we're really going to see how well Teddy does in that environment. But I think based on how he played on Jin Air, I think he's really going to excel, and he's actually my player to watch on this lineup. Emily, you did allude to it, joining SKT at support, a legend in his own right in Mata. How much stronger does Mata make this new SKT? So where I'm looking at Mata is actually when we're talking about these two junglers. I want to see what kind of direction and um, advice he can provide for them because both Haru and Clid, especially Clid, they're known for a lot of really hyper aggressive invades that when their lanes aren't pushing and when they don't have vision, you know, they're not the smartest thing to do maybe at that time. And so obviously SKT has very strong lanes on this lineup, but I really want to see how Mata's influence and experience can affect their jungling because we could see a situation where they both look much improved under Mata's guidance. Emily Rand, all the right answers as usual. Thanks so much for all your time, expertise, and insight. For more of our roster shuffle coverage, head over to ESPN.com slash eSports.